just under two tons. I've been including two tons with each dumpster for these guys just to keep life simple. Uh, all of them so far have been just under, so it works out pretty well. The uh, dump has been, really they've just been backed up for a hundred different reasons, but one of the main reasons it looks like is that they're having a hard time getting trash out of the dump house and they're fined by the, I don't know if it's the county or the some federal agency, but they are fined if people are dumping outside of the building. So when trash is stacked up in the building and no one has the ability to dump inside the building properly, trash gets kind of flung out in front of it. From what I'm told, it could be total BS, but from what I'm told, it's a $100,000 fine every time they have trash out front when they come. So they've been making a big stink out of it. The really annoying part is because they can't get trash hauled out. They're doing what they can to push it back in there, give you some space to dump. But me with a 16 foot dumpster have, you know, three feet of space to dump and then they want to yell at you if stuff's going out the, the dump house. So it's just one of those silly things where it's like, if you guys want me to do what I've got to do, then you need to provide me the opportunity to do it. I can't just be responsible for making sure that stuff is not outside the building when you'd only give me three feet of running room, you know? It's been fun. The uh, dump I just did, the first load, or the first time I dumped, the load kind of got stuck in the top half, like some two by fours bracing it in basically. Um, so I just dumped the first half, moved over and then dumped the second half. Another thing that gets really annoying is they keep trying to have me back up into my load, which a lot of the semi trucks do, but I'm not a semi truck and I'm not breaking my stuff so that you guys can avoid a fine. I do a little bit, like I'll, I'll back up into a smaller or lighter pile, but I'm not ramming stuff like a front loader with my trailer. One, it's not advisable by the manufacturer, I can guarantee that. Two, it's just your job at the end of the day. It's not my job, it's your job. So it's been fun. So now I am back at the yard. I am gonna drop this dumpster off. I gotta go pick up two roofing dumpsters today, get them finalized and build out. I've got one of them going out on Saturday, the other one for sure going out on Monday. But as of right now, it's gonna be the first time I've had something back at the yard all week. Maybe I'll find another job between now and then, but probably not. Let me just get this uh, 20 drop. Let's go pick up that roof load. noticed I put the uh, back rollers on two by fours I got these it's a four stack of two by eights that actually came when I got the trailer and bins I've got a handful of them but I do that for a couple reasons uh, it keeps the obviously the metal off the ground which is a benefit but it also keeps the dumpster a bit of a slant so if it does rain today or really any day while they're in storage they're gonna be draining out the back rather than puddling up uh, inside and then the only thing I have to think about is the doghouse where the cable hook attaches. Um, that'll hold water, so you do need to make sure that gets taken care of every once in a while. But otherwise, good to go. Tell you what, it is a real perk to work in close proximity to your home and have your yard right next to your house. Stop in, get a coffee refill, grab me a little snaggity snack. Got some oranges for a little bit later when I want something else to snack on. Good to go. I am uh, headed out now. I got two dumpsters to pick up. Both were uh, subletted actually. So Brock, who I've referenced in a bunch of videos, is one of my good buddies. One of the roofers he uses up in Brooksville, or they use him I guess, needed a couple dumpsters down here. A little bit farther south than I think he wanted to go. So he asked me to fill in for him. So I dropped two dumpsters this week for projects it is. 
Now I'm going to pick those up. They just finished up last night. Dumpster is nice and full. Well, that one was fun. So I had to lower my tarp pantry, but I could not get it to crank down for some reason. And it appears that my gantry. Get out of here with me. Appears that my gantry is getting a little bit lopsided, maybe from one pin catching but the other one not and then continuing to use it so I had to actually pull down on one side to get it to be straight so when I crank down it would actually go um, this one is a very full 15 yard dumpster full of roofing material I got to drive it a little ways so uh, I had to get my gantry down so I don't lose any of the stuff up front we're good but yeah so I uh, I eventually pulled on one side and kind of played with it to get it loose and then it cranked down no problem I've got both pins set now so should not be much of an issue but we got a nice heavy full dumpster let's uh, take this to the dump now get it dumped out and then I'll show you in a minute what she weighs well, I decided not to drive it to St. Pete. I drove it back to National Waste, which is the dump closest to my house. It wasn't terribly long, but it's been a pretty long time. I'm bad up to the front, and it looks like we're going to have a nice storm roll through here, and it's going to get rainy. So I'm going to end up hopefully dumping this before the storm dumps out on me, but as soon as I'm done with this, I still got to go pick up another one. So fun. It's a little bit stormy out tonight. Ah, all right. So like I was saying with the blocks. Ugh. Well, that big boy under there. Drop it back down. Oh, it's getting wet. Drop it down. Get out of there. Well, that was fun. So uh, drop that can at the yard. Going to go pick up another roofing dumpster here in a minute i'm debating i might take a little little lunch break see if some of this storm passes but who knows i might just run out there and grab it and say screw it <laughs> literally just had my phone go off for a tornado warning it said in this area for the next 20 minutes get in your basement if you got one i ain't got no basement we're in florida we don't got basements around here so I think I'm going to go park at the house, get a little bit of lunch, kind of let some of the BS pass by, and go from there, because probably not a good idea to be picking up a dumpster full of roofing if it's nice and stormy out. I don't want stuff blowing out onto the road and all that, so yeah, I'm going to go park it for a minute. All right, so we just got through the tornado warning. We've got some lunch in our bellies. The sun is not quite out yet, but the rain has slowed down quite a bit, and it's getting brighter out, so I think... The bulk of the crazy part of the storm is done. Now, I have brought JJ with me. We are gonna go pick up another dumpster and get that one dumped. All right, just pick this one up. Nice and full 15 yarder, probably gonna be another three and a half, four tons. Uh, it was a 31 square roof, but it was surprisingly full for 31 squares. So, a little bit surprised at how full it was, but it is what it is. I uh, am bringing this one now to the dump. I am gonna grab the 20 yarder from the yard as soon as I dump this and run that out to the job I was at this morning. So they just requested another swap out. I still gotta get authorization from the big boss, but the on-site project manager guy uh, just called me, told me they need another swap out. So I'm sure it's gonna be done. I just gotta dot my uh, I's and cross my T's. So on 
the way to do that probably another hour and change before I'm able to do so but I will uh, go ahead and get that run out there for them. another beautiful day in paradise it's amazing it goes from stormy as all can be to just absolutely beautiful outside no time at all we are back at the dump I'm gonna dump this load they booked another swap out they actually booked two swap outs so all right I'm gonna like I said, dump this, grab the 20, bring the 20 out to them, pick up that dumpster, hopefully dump it on the way home. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time, but we're going to try. And then I will probably swap it out first thing in the morning, if not drop the empty back there as soon as I dump. We'll see. I just got to see what time I get out of here and how much time I have. But we just barely might be able to make it to the dump today with the one I'm about to pick up. So we'll see. <laughs> perfectly executed. I stand the slightest chance of getting this one dumped today, but it'll probably get dumped first thing in the morning and then swapped out after. But we'll see. I just gotta check it out. Alright. Just did another little swaparoo. Hauling out another 20. And guess where we are going next? Where are we going? Walmart. 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 Yeah, I bought the uh, wrong oil yesterday. I'm gonna put together a video on the maintenance of the trailer. So kind of like all the greasing and oil change and X, Y, and Z for the 18K trailer. Went and bought some oil yesterday, bought 5W30 instead of 10W30. So we're gonna return that now. Make life a little easier on everybody but that is a video you can look forward to.